The cliche pop culture way to think about heaven is just flat out wrong. What comes to mind when you envision heaven? A lot of us think about little fat naked angel babies plucking harps and people floating around in white robes in the clouds. It's just not biblical. And when we have the wrong ideas about heaven, we cheapen the place that Christ has prepared for those who love him, and we can actually miss what we're called to do in the here and now. Here are a few things the Bible says about heaven. One, after Jesus returns for his people, he will restore creation to its pre-sin state, which means that heaven is a physical reality forever. Our hope is not to be disembodied ghosts for all eternity. Our hope is in the resurrection of our bodies. Jesus said at the Last Supper, I will not drink wine again until I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. So believers who pass away now are joyfully in the presence of God. God awaiting the resurrection. Two, heaven will never be boring. God is an infinite being and he will be enjoyed infinitely forever. And John Piper puts it this way and I love it. In heaven, we will have an ever increasing capacity to enjoy God. Three, the wrong way to think about heaven is that it's just a place. The right way to think about heaven is wherever the risen Messiah is, that is heaven. The end of history and the reason for all of this is a singular moment in Revelation 21. Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. Jesus is the one who makes heaven, heaven. Now, why does all this matter? Because when we call on people to repent and believe, we aren't telling them that Jesus is a ticket out of hell into a never-ending church service. We're telling them, come, be washed of your sins that separate you from the King of Kings and enter into his eternal kingdom where there will be no more sin or mourning or crying or pain, where we will exist physically in a perfect universe, eating and drinking at the table of our creator and savior. And that's the right way to think about heaven. So if you are a citizen of that kingdom by the grace of Christ alone, go and tell the world about the returning King.